The northern region of the district includes those counties above the Tampa Bay area, Hernando, Citrus, and Sumter, and portions of Levy, Marion, and Lake counties. There are two major watersheds in the region, the Springs Coast Watershed and the Withlacoochee River Watershed. Major waterways include the Withlacoochee, Crystal, Homosassa, and Wikiwachi rivers, the Salapopka Lakes, and numerous springs. An interesting water resource feature in the northern region is the relationship between the Withlacoochee River and the three water basins known as the Salapopka chain of lakes. Some scientists believe the systems were once a giant lake that perhaps rivaled the size of Lake Okeechobee until a cataclysmic event reshaped the land. In the northern region, the Floridan aquifer rises to near the land surface. Beneath the ground, the porous region of rock, referred to as karst topography, provides for easy connections between ground and surface waters. Because of the region's topography and geology, aquifer recharge is plentiful. As a district-wide average, about six inches of rainfall each year makes its way into the aquifer. In the northern region, 10 to 25 inches recharge the aquifer annually. The aquifer's limestone foundation allows for sinkholes and springs. Springs are areas where water flows directly from the aquifer to the surface, supplying flow to a river or other water body, and serving as a vital freshwater source for estuaries. Unlike its neighbors to the south, the northern region as a whole has not faced the kind of explosive growth that would strain its resources. But growth is coming, flowing north from the Tampa Bay area along major arteries like the Suncoast Parkway and I-75. The northern region has the opportunity to plan for the future and learn from the lessons of others. District assessments have determined that the northern region has adequate traditional sources of water or groundwater to meet its water needs for the next 20 years. This assessment is based on projected growth and efficient water use. The district partners with many local governments to provide water conservation, education, encourage Florida-friendly landscaping, and financial incentives like rebates for retrofitting inefficient plumbing fixtures. There also are water quality problems that need to be addressed. The same karst topography that allows for easy recharge of the aquifer also allows pollutants easier access to groundwater. District monitoring of the many springs in the region like those at Wikiwachi, Rainbow River, and Kings Bay has detected an increase in nitrates Excess nitrates cause unwanted algae blooms. These blooms choke off the water's oxygen supply and reduce light penetration, threatening both plant and animal life. The source of much of these nitrates is lawn fertilization. The district has numerous education programs, including Florida-friendly landscaping, aimed at teaching homeowners the appropriate use of fertilizers, pesticides, and irrigation to reduce the risk of water quality problems from runoff that reaches the aquifer. The district also closely works with the Nitrate Remediation Group, a consortium of local organizations, agencies, and governments to identify solutions to reducing nitrates. The district operates one true flood protection structure in the northern region, known as the Sala Apopka outfall canal. This structure provides flood protection to lakefront homeowners by releasing water from the lakes into the Withlacoochee River. The Sala Apopka system has been modified by man. In the past 150 years, wetlands have been drained, canals have been dug, and the natural water flow has changed significantly. In addition to the outfall canal, the district also operates water control structures within the lakes to maintain seasonal water levels and provide some flood protection. Whenever possible, the district prefers to use a non-structural approach to flood protection. 
acquiring land affords the ultimate assurance that floodplain storage areas will be protected. The district's land acquisition program provides multiple benefits. In addition to flood protection, lands acquired have helped water supply by providing natural recharge areas for the aquifer and water quality by preventing potentially harmful development and protecting natural systems that filter stormwater runoff. The district's multi-use land management philosophy allows for a broad range of recreational activities. Some of the significant acquisitions in the northern region include the Potts Preserve and Flying Eagle properties along the Withlacoochee River and the Wikiwachi Preserve along the Wikiwachi River in Hernando County. Some water bodies receive additional protection. The district partners with the state and other agencies in this region to protect and restore these water bodies. Kings Bay Crystal River and Lake Panasofsky are priority water bodies in the northern region of the district. Lake Panasofsky is the largest lake in the region. Groundwater that feeds the lake is naturally enriched with high levels of minerals which solidify and settle to the bottom, destroying fish beds. Since the 1940s, almost 800 acres, or nearly a quarter of the lake's open water area, have been lost due to this accumulation. Under the direction of the Lake Panasofsky Restoration Council, the district is the lead agency on a program that will improve fish habitat, restore the shoreline, and improve navigation by dredging nearly eight and a half million cubic yards of sediment from the lake and removing more than 900 acres of unwanted vegetation. The northern region of the district offers an excellent opportunity to apply water management lessons learned in other areas, where much of the development occurred before today's modern system of water management. We can ensure adequate water resources, good water quality, and protection of our natural systems. This is Florida at its best. Thank you.